Hello and welcome back to HefPipe. This installment of the tutorial is designed to demonstrate how HefPipe accommodates gene mapper formatted files into the pipeline. So for this tutorial we'll be using the example data that you'll find in the directory called for gene mapper example. You can find that once you download the software package. It's an example data and then it's the fourth directory here. So what I did is I just copied all the contents of that directory into my desktop. So before I run the pipeline on this example data set, let's have a look at the gene mapper formatted file, which you can find in the allele reports directory. So I open it. And this is what gene mapper formatted files look like. If you're watching this tutorial video, it's probably because you're quite familiar with them. Um, but this is an example that has 75 samples that are scored across a panel of 15 microsatellite markers. And obviously GMapper saves these genotypes as a text file, just like the one that you're seeing here in the video. So the way that HefPipe deals with such files is like this. Upon execution of HefPipe.py, so when I run the script, and I provide the path to the addresses.csv file. Hefpipe finds files in the directory designated as containing the allele report. So it finds files in the allele reports directory here that have .txt anywhere in the file name. And the pipeline treats these files as gene mapper formatted allele reports. So it finds this .txt file and it knows that that has to be a gene mapper formatted file which it then converts into a CSV formatted report, which you can see gets produced above. Let's take a look at what this looks like. And you can see all the sample names are in this column, all the locus names, all the marker loci are in the first row, and all the genotype information is in the rest of the, the file. So these CSV formatted reports are formatted in such a way that they can be handled in an identical manner to gene marker formatted files in all subsequent steps of the pipeline. So in other words, once the gene mapper formatted reports have been converted to CSV files, the pipeline resumes from step two of the processing the allele reports for gene pop section described in the user's manual. So all the other tutorial videos that you've seen before apply from then on. So you could just run the pipeline exactly the same way using gene mapper formatted files as you could using gene marker formatted files. Thanks for listening and uh, enjoy HefPipe.